Hi guys, welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So like I promised, today I've been to the boot sale, picked up quite a few bits and pieces. So let's crack on with the video and I'll show you at the end what I've got. Hope you enjoy. The only thing is we're giving them shit why he's got all this stuff here and they want to work on this because he's got this up. How much is a game? Yeah, uh, a couple of quid. Mm -hmm. Right, eight. <coughs> eight. It matches ten pound, that is. Uh, eight. No, ten pound, said, didn't he? On the jet wash, tenner. Yeah, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, three for five a corner, mate. Are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much? Yeah. Yeah. We'll set it. We'll set it. We'll set it. Charlie glasses. Five for the three? Yeah. What about your iPods? Thank you. Uh, that, that one, that one, I want ten, four, five, five. Yeah. How much are these ones? Just cut the push from there. No. 
Yeah, 11 quid. Yeah, 11 quid. Yeah. Oh, data disk. I'm coming back for it, though. Are you? Yeah. But well, we won't be here that long. We're going to go no, straight. No, no, it's also. Yeah. Right. I can come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, mate. I'll take that one. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, fella. Much appreciated. Uh, no, you ain't got any more of you, or is that it? What? Of the what the hell range? Of any kind of 80s cartoons, or? I'm still trying to get one or two out. Okay, that's fine. I'll come back. If not, I'll walk okay. around. Let me have a look. All right, cheers. No, I've just got like postman pat and all that. Part. Okay. All right, then. Cheers. Thank you. How much are these little things? I think so, 25p. Alright, might take a few of these. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Yeah, I'll take these ones, that's alright. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 four, five, six, seven. Well, actually, let me put him back. Oh, and one pound fifty. Okay. Make your friends already, Bella. Alright, here you go. Okay. Cheers, thank you. What are you filming for? Are you flipping? Huh? No, I just time? collect, but I like, I'm starting a YouTube, so I've only got like two episodes, but I thought I'd start giving it a go. Nice. Which one it was that you put back? Uh, Kane, I think I put back. Where's Kane? This one. There you go, for good luck. Ah, cheers, mate. Thank no you. Worries, Much appreciated. No cheers, thank you. How much is this folder? It's got a few cards in there. Don't know if you spot any of them. I have a lot of cards, yeah? Yeah. I mean, in here, no? Huh? Okay. Uh, oh, most, yeah, there's some here. The, most of them are Pokemon. Yeah, how much for these ones? Would you say a pound for them? Sorry? Pound? Two. 
Uh, I'll do 150. Yeah. How much is the best? 20. Yeah. With the charger. Here you go. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Oh yeah, Niall, you want these ones, if that's right. Cheers, thank you, much appreciated. your game, sorry. No, I don't know. Uh, cheers. Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, is it that? Oh, yeah. Gary, how much a game? Uh, depends on the title. Uh, depends on the title. What about the, uh, these ones? Right. Seven, yep. six, eight, five, yep. four, three. Okay. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, 30 quid the lot. Okay, cheers. Just going to look at this one. And I'm Sorry. trucking Lord of the Rings too. All right, cheers. Quid the lot. Thank you. See, I need this. £3 that electric kettle, working perfectly that kettle is. £3. And clean. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I've got it in that deal. Oh, cheers. That. Thank you. Uh, Come back, I'll check that. Uh, what are you shutting down there? Okay. Uh, sorry.
Sorry, would you take five for all these these ones? Uh, cheers, thank you. Not offer I'm in here, thanks. Yeah. Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers, bye. Disc and that one. Um, I don't even want to take no less than 40. No disc. So, is the phone up? I've got the phones. Yeah, good. Sorry about that. <laughs> Never mind. Time in, what's the scene? Any more? Uh, no, he, he only put them ones out of random. Just showing. Oh, no, oh, yeah. Sorry, so, I didn't know you. Yeah, I've got iPhone 10. How much are your games? Sorry? How much uh, are your games? IPhone 10. Right. How much are they? Yeah, yeah, I'll check on my iCloud. I'll do with all that stuff anyway. Like it's only because we've all upgraded. Three. How much are they, please? I don't want to take no less than 180 for got the iPhone S. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Cheers, and I don't want no less than Cheers, thank you. 290 for 10. Oh, sorry. How much are your toys that are here? Mm. 
dear, you tell me what you want. Uh, Just get what you want and show me what you've okay. got. Alright, cheers, thank you. Yeah, I'll take these, please, if that's right. You want a bag? No, I've bung them in here. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pounds? All right, then. Cheers. Thank you. Ah, oh, here you go. Thank you. Uh, one pound. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks a lot for that. Head. Can I take these ones as well? Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, so welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you might be thinking, oh, there's a lot you went past, there's a lot you should have picked up, there's a lot you should have missed. Uh, yes, so if you've seen anything like that or you think oh, he's walked past this or you've got any feedback, please just leave the feedback in the comments below. I do take the time to read through the uh, comments, so yeah, just drop me a comment there. But I'll go through what I found today. So, you would have seen it on the video, let's go through it in a little bit more detail. So, firstly, I think one of the things I remember picking up were these mini little figures, uh, which the guy wanted £1.50 for, and he was kind enough to throw... Uh, one of the others in for free as he found out I was filming a YouTube video, which was very kind of him. 
so I've got these mini little from 2000, mini little turtle figures. Uh, so you've got Michelangelo there, Leonardo, Donatello and Raphael. Nice little smalls. And then I saw these wrestlers and obviously I had to pick up Broski because obviously he's got the uh, pod, he's got a podcast and he's got a YouTube channel that I listen to around him going around and collecting old wrestling action figures. Got to have the Ultimate Warrior, so I picked him up as well. And then the guy threw in Kane for free, which was very nice of him, uh, much appreciated. So in all that come to £1.50. <clears throat> Then you would have seen throughout, and I'm just doing this by random guys, so I picked up Call of Duty World War II for a pound, all complete. That's going straight to CEX because I think it's about £3, £4 trading. So that's going, and that'll be part of a future video. I guess one of the big pickups, and, I, and I'll go straight to it as there's quite a bit of it, was as I was leaving the boot sale, I didn't particularly thought I had a good time, didn't find many retro toys that I would have considered bringing home or putting into the collection or maybe getting rid of in the future. Uh, but then I pulled up to a pile uh, and just saw sticking out of the corner of the pile was this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Foot Soldier. And from there I thought, right, I actually need him, definitely picking him up. And then I started diving into the bag a bit more and then found a number of other 80s to 90s classic figures. So got the Foot Soldier, was one of them. Got Leonardo, and then I found Raphael's belt, so I've just put it on Leonardo for the time being. Janine from Ghostbusters, with a weapon, and then I believe that's Ray's ghost from the first series. So if I pick that up as well. Uh, don't know who this chap is, but uh, he's a Transformer. Uh, can't even find a year on this one, but I've picked that up as well. Then you get to... I believe this, I don't think this is a muscle man, but it looks very similar to a muscle man, so I've picked that up as part of the deal. Picked up this 19, 1989, so it must have been just as the first Batman movie come out, so a little die, die cast car. And then some of the bits that are quite nice that you don't really see at the boot sales over in the UK, but some Gen 1 Transformers, so this one is from 1987. So you've got there, a Decepticon with the badge. Uh, all parts are there, transformed, so I'm really happy with that. Found this little Autobot dinosaur, Dinobot. Uh, so to be fair, I've never even seen one of these at the boot sale before, so picked him up as well. In quite nice shape as well. Uh, picked out another one, another Autobot. So it looks like a fire truck. Transform a little gun off the top of it. So happy with that, 1987. Uh, picked up the front half, so couldn't find the trailer, but none of these picked up Optimus Prime. Uh, so Transform is already transformed it. Everything's 100% on there, so yeah, quite happy with that. And then this one, uh, to me, originally what I saw, I thought it was the Back to the Future, just a die cast car of the uh, DeLorean, but. It's a Transformer, it's got 1980 on it, uh, yeah, no idea who this guy is, but yeah, and it, and it just made me think of, if you haven't seen it, you've got, is it Gigawatts, the new uh, 2020 Transformer car, and they try and base the cars on classic movie vehicles, so I think last year you had the Echo 1, actually, which is here, I'll just get it down quickly, so last year you had the Transformer, so a kind of special edition come out for the 35th anniversary, they brought out Echo 1, the Transform. And I know this year they're bringing out the DeLorean. So that's what made me think of that one when I saw that, and definitely have to pick that DeLorean up as well. I guess as I was going through the boot sale as well, it didn't seem quite good until I come up to that bundle, and you would have seen it in the video, that bundle of Transformers with the Turtles, the lady only wanted a pound for the Transformers, and then 50p for the turtles i believe so one pound 50 that whole bundle cost me which is a bloody good price uh put these down here and then the next thing that i got into so there was a lady and i paid five pound for this lot but she was selling a lot of old vintage bits and pieces from old happy meals and i tend to stay away from this stuff however i thought because it's all complete still in the bag i'm going to pick it up so these are from 95 not Ronald there. So those two there. 
for part of the deal. Then you got these ones, which I looked at the date on these ones, and these ones are 1989. So loads of little McDonald's, and they're guys. I'm telling you, there is absolutely bundles of them in there. It says there's eight to collect, and all eight are in here. Yeah, there's. There's loads. So I picked that up. That was part of the bundle as well. And then the last ones that I haven't seen before, and I don't even remember if they're in multi packs or how you got these, but they say Skips on them, and Skips is a uh, popular crisp brand within the UK. Uh, and you've got these, come on, these kind of Babe the Movie characters. So there must have been quite a few to collect. I've got to do a little bit of research on these to be fair, but there is absolutely tons of Babe the Pig in here. So all sealed, there must be a good 15 in there. So all that lot was five pound. Then I went round the corner again and I'm, I've seen these go for a couple of quid each. So I thought I'd pick them up. I think I paid one pound 50 for both of these. So you've got Donkey Kong, the Happy Meal, and then you've got Mario. Uh, so I will just bundle all those together to be fair. So you would have first seen, I think, the first pickup that I had in the video uh, was the retro duvet cover of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So it's £2, and it's the duvet cover and the pillowcase. Quilt, sorry. So it's the bed uh, cover and a pillow cover. But yeah, I asked, the, I asked the guy if he had any more, because usually when you find people that are selling these, they've usually got quite a few of them. Uh, but he only had this one. He had some Postman, Pat, and Fireman, Sam, but now I'm more into the kind of retro 90s or 80s bits so you had that and then the last piece that i picked up from there which you would have seen as well is this blue folder and a guy was selling so he had odd bits and pieces of trading cards and i thought right i'm gonna go through them. i'm gonna take a chance i went through them and then i found this folder and it was full of odd pokemon cards so i think the guy originally wanted two pounds i think i got them down to one pound fifty don't know too much about these ones because they're they look n newer than the ones i had when i was younger but you've got this that looks like a giant pokemon card so I'm not too sure. If anyone wants to share some knowledge, definitely leave it in the uh, comments. And I guess you go through the cards. Just very quickly, I'll choose some out. Choose if there's any shinies in here because it seems to be the one that people say uh, worth a little bit more. Again, that one. These are a little bit over my head. All I know is that you want the Charizard one from the original, which I've got a few of already. Uh, these are a little bit more later, but you've got this one. I think I've seen that on one of the Pokemon Silver fronts. Uh, another special one there. But yeah, there's quite, there's quite a few here. So again, I'd need to go through and just do my research on newer Pokemon cards. Because, yeah, these... I don't know that much about these ones, to be fair. But if anyone knows, if there's any to watch out for, familiar with the uh, series, please, yeah, just drop me... Uh, some feedback in the comments but yeah i don't even remember being them that way up but yep see yeah so quite a few there and then randomly enough there's two fifa packs that haven't been opened that were put in there as well so uh yeah it's quite happy with that actually for one pound fifty so yep i'll do a bit more research on that to see what they're worth then i ended up because i didn't think i was gonna have a good boot sale at the first boot sale if it wasn't for those transformers I ended up going to another very small boot sale, literally about five minutes away from where I live. Uh, so I went there straight away, and as you would have seen, picked up this Xbox One game, 20p. The guy wanted enough, I think it's about £3 trading on Computer Exit. So that will go to Computer Exchange. I then went to the guy next to him, and he had a few toys. Nothing that really stood out to me. Absolutely lovely family that were there. Uh, very supportive of what I was doing in terms of video wise and I told them to check out the channel uh, but for me I watched a talk the other night from Aaron from Empire Toys and some of the other guys in terms of bootlegs and I saw this I believe this is a bootleg I saw this bootleg and I have no bootlegs at the moment and I thought I'm picking him up uh, just because I enjoyed that conversation those guys were having and I thought right I'm gonna start picking up some bootlegs uh, Lando so he was there and then this that i remember as a child 
It's got 1978 on it, so I need to do a bit more research on that. But pick those three up for one pound. Uh, and then the stall next to them had a little box of figures, which again you'll see in the video, and a lot of gaming pieces which I don't didn't need any of, but for for one pound I'm going to pick up Chip Hazard, so I picked that up. And then literally around the corner before my GoPro died, I actually saw this one which is the Yellow Ranger for 50p. The legs have gone a little bit, as you can see. Uh, so I picked that up as well. So that's everything I picked up from the boot sale today. I thought it was actually a good day and thoroughly enjoyed it. To be fair, what made my day is definitely those Transformers and the Foot Soldier and the Leonardo. Uh, but yeah, happy with what I've got. I guess in all, I didn't spend that much money at all, but mostly come away with quite a bit. Uh, so I'll do a bit more research, see what bits and pieces are worth, and no doubt I'll let you guys know in a future video. But... Again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, everyone that saw me today and asked me questions, uh, much appreciated, uh, love the support I'm getting at the moment from the people that are selling at boot sales and the people that are watching, so please just keep watching, please keep liking. Thanks a lot, bye.